20, um, 2020, September 2020, I wanted to celebrate my birthday. That was the first time I heard about this man called IVD. I'm doing this thing just for the sake of the dead. If not, I won't. There's nothing I've never heard. There's nothing. I went to IVD's place. No, I went to buy a car. I saw it online. Everybody saying, don't do it. I will do it. I will do this thing. I went to buy a car from one guy that took me to IVD. That's where I saw my Range Rover Vela. I saw it parked there. I liked it. 36 million. I paid cash. Transfer. This guy gave me this car. Even before I celebrated my birthday, I woke up one morning. This car refused to start. Everybody knows this gist. The only people that didn't know this gist is maybe social media. Because of his wife. His wife made me not go on, on media. I bought a car from this guy. Car stopped working. Even on my birthday. I kept going from one mechanic to other. Videos I have that I would be posting. I finished my birthday. I couldn't use my car. I was going back to back every day. Wahala, every day. Wahala, until one day. He now said, okay. I said, come and take fat. I went online, the pictures I have. This guy sold an accidented car to me. IVD sold an accidented car to me for 36 million naira cash. With the, with the engine number, uh, with the chassis number, they found out that it was as, an accidented car. I said, take your car, give me my money. He said, okay, I should not worry. That if I add money, that if I add money, that he will give me a new car. I said, how much should I add? Because I want this car. And I posted this car. Like, I bought this car. That's why, if you guys check, there was a time I wasn't using my car. That was when I returned this IV, this car. I did not make noise. He said, I should balance 3 million to the 39 million, to the 36 million I paid before. I balanced IV, the 3 million. That day, his wife was there. That's when, this is the receipt. I will still be posting this thing. This is a receipt of 39 million for my car. This car took IVD over six months. There's nobody I did not call in Nigeria. They even called I, um, um, Inspector General of Police for this, for this case. It got to a point we now came to, okay, I want a car. I want cars equivalent to 39 million. From your store, his wife was aware of all these things. In fact, his wife, oh, may, may she rest in peace, is the one that stopped me from arresting IVD. His wife was pleading. Each, every time I go there, his wife would be telling me, Mercy, please. His wife talks to me. His fr her friends, if they're on this slide, they will, come, they will attest to this. So I know you might be wondering what is Mercy Eke talking about. Sadly, we're still on the case of the lady who lost her life following the whole fire incident and the whole fight between her and her husband. So a popular blogger, Juice Lover, has come out to say that Mercy Eke is part of the people that... Are involved with the man like his side chick and Mercy has actually come out to debunk the rumor and talk about how she met the man and how she knows him in fact she said she's doing it for the sake of the wife who has lost his her life and you know talking about how she bought a car from the man and the car wasn't working and the wife was even the one like the mediator trying to come in the middle and say okay Mercy, please don't post on social media for her husband's business and everything and it's just so sad. I feel like uh, I don't know. I feel like Mercy has come out to say her truth, which is very important because this life of celebrities are human beings too, Sha. So they can come out and say their truth. But I just feel something like to see that this man's wife, the one that um, lost her life because of the whole marriage thing, to see that she was actually somebody that stood by her husband. So sometimes people want to give excuses to as to why maybe men might not be there for their wives. But from everything people have been saying she, since she passed, she was supportive of her husband supportive of his business everything he was doing she was supportive and i'm sure that she was a very very strong um um you know support system to him backbone and everything from what messi ak has said here it's seriously that the woman is part of the reasons why she did not even make trouble at the time when the car was disturbing her you know after buying the car from ivd it's just as if people are have plenty bad reports about this man right now and i don't think it's going to do well for him also funny how it's just barely um 24 hours this woman passed as in his wife passed and it's as if they are carrying his bad character in basket and like dishing out you get like 
almost everybody that is talking about him publicly just has negative things to say about him to show that this woman has been a covering she has probably been covering 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 yes i know that their domestic violence thing was coming out um time and time again on social media but this was just a toxic messed up marriage i just feel like he and this woman that has passed shouldn't have been in the same space let me and uh, let's hear what messi has to say again I believe in your followers believe all the lies like every time once you use me to sell your pay there are other people now leave me alone they say they say they say keep they say don't say anything my my team don't say anything my life don't say anything don't, don't say anything to when till when two people his 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 shop attendants you don't this time they were test sweet there was a day so i said this day today if you don't give me things this shop will bring it down how many times did i go there with my bar i've gone there with my barista even unique motors knows this because it got to a point i have to involve unique motors hi come on now why what did i do to this person must you use me? Am I the only person in this country? Must you use me to do what you are doing? I know you are running a business, but come on, don't use me. So that is Mercy talking to the blogger who released her name, you know, saying that she had something to do with IVD. And I just feel like this woman's death is going to really um, bring out a lot of secrets. I don't know why. I feel like a lot of things are going to still come out. You know how when the Sinachi passed, a lot of people were saying things. And it's just really messed up because people will be like, oh, all of you know all these things and you didn't do anything about it when the person was alive. But you guys also know that some people don't ever want to leave toxic situations. You literally drag them out and they go back. I feel like this abuse situation, before you know, it becomes very psychological, it becomes very mental. You know, after a person has dealt with you physically, before you know, you cannot reason anywhere, uh, you can't reason well again. That's why somebody will be in a place where they are being treated badly. It is just a very sad situation about um, Mrs. Bimbo who has lost her life. Let me know your thoughts are in the comment section. It's the real I thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like it. Um, subscribe. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.